Welcome back to Mobile Tech Word, and I'm going to give you a brief look at the GL Benchmark 2.0 running on the Samsung Galaxy S and the HTC Desire HD. So what I'm going to do now is try to compare the OpenGL ES 2.0 performance of the PowerVR SGX 540 GPU and the Galaxy S and the Qualcomm Arduino 200, uh, 205 GPU and the HTC Desire HD so I'm not gonna uh, show you a full run because it, it can take up to 10 minutes to run the whole thing I'm just gonna give you a brief look at how it looks like on both devices and you can check out the results uh, at the link below uh, on mobiletechworld.com so I'm gonna load up the Samsung Galaxy S before the Desire HD because it takes a lot longer to load on Samsung's devices and show you how it performs one thing you need to know is that there are some rendering issues on the Desire HD and I don't know if this affects the end results or not but it's, this is how it is right now so here we go So it just started on the HTC Desire HD and you have the Samsung Galaxy S below right here. You'll see that there are some rendering issues some polygons disappearing on the HTC DR Desire HD and this doesn't happen on the Galaxy S just right here on top we can see it right here so this is the second run with the FSAA enabled You'll see that it's a lot sharper on the Desire HD compared to the Galaxy S. And there are some rendering issues again on the Desire HD. Right here on top. So I suggest you download it and run it on a device and see how it performs but remember that this is just a synthetic benchmark it isn't representative of uh, the real world performance of the devices but it can give you an idea of, of how it can perform in uh, heavy 3D intensive uh, application and games so you can see the rendering issues on top right here you have some disappeared polygons something that you can't see on the Galaxy S you can also see that it's a lot smoother right now on the Galaxy S and you don't have any rendering issue anyway you can check out the results by clicking on the link below the video in the description you can follow me on mobiletechworld.com or mobiletechworld TV uh, channel on YouTube thanks for watching